Andy Haig here with Insulize Energy and Comfort Solutions in Pittsburgh again. And what I'm going to show you guys today is how we dress homes that have a whole house fan in them. And what whole house fans do is they, um, they're up in the ceiling here and when you turn them on, they pull a bunch of air up from inside the house and flush it out through the roof. And when it's hot out but not real humid, they can work well. But in our climate here in Pittsburgh, we often get a lot of humidity when it does get hot, so they're not such a great solution. And we typically recommend removing them and just putting a drywall and we insulate over it and then allow the air conditioner to deal with the heat and humidity. But sometimes homeowners really like them and they need a solution for maintaining it and keeping it. And in that case, we build an insulated box around it and uh, the homeowner can remove the insulated lid when they want to use it and put it back on when it's either really hot out or really cold. Um, we're going to show you how we do that in just a minute. But before we go up in the attic, I'm going to illustrate to you what we mean in terms of not that energy efficient. So you can see how hot that is. Right now the attic's about oh, 90 degrees or so, and the other ceiling over here is about 70. So the heat from the roof is able to just come right down and radiate through those thin aluminum louvers. So in, in climates where it's hot and humid, these ten things tend to be energy efficiency uh, losers and on the back end comfort killers when you get into the really cold months or um, it's hot and you don't want to turn this thing on, you're still getting the heat to come down through there. So we're going to show you how we fix that here in just a minute. Now that we're up here in the attic, you can see what these whole house fans look like from above. So here's the fan motor. This is the housing here. You know, it's just basic sheet metal. Here's the fan impeller. And below me is the, the sheet metal and you can't see it, but you know, I can see daylight from inside the house coming up all around it. So this, these things in your ceiling are really a, uh, a glorified screen door in terms of how they function thermally. And what we're gonna do is build walls around this with just regular studs like two by tens and two by sixes. Then we're gonna surround the studs with foam board that's gonna insulate the sides. And then we'll be able to insert a, a hatch right on top of this, which is going to insulate it as well as air seal it. And we'll show you step by step how that works. You can see that it's a little bit warm, this attic that we're working in right now, which is what happens with attics on sunny days. And what we've got happening is we're going about, we're making a wall that goes around this and we're going to put foam board on the outside. But when you're putting this thing together, you've got to um, make allowances for things like this power cable here and cut your ends, your long pieces uh, or short, whatever you're, you're doing, but you just got to make sure you've got room for this thing. So I cut these pieces here about a half inch longer than the fan housing and when I put this other piece on it's going to allow me room for that electrical cord to be in there. So I've got the far end in and again we need to have this be level so it's pretty tough to hold all this. What I did was drive the screw through about a quarter inch out the other side so I can kind of push it in and hold it. Now that's flush. Okay, now we're gonna put one on that end and uh, we've gotta bring it up another level and we'll get back to that in just a minute. So we got the first layer in, uh, the first layer of the wall here and you can see that the fan motor is above this and we need to have a foam board sit on top of this. So we went and cut an additional two by eight. We've got a two by 10 here, and we're just gonna build a little wall like this, screw this all together, and then anchor this second layer onto the first layer, go around this with foam board, create our hatch, and we'll be done. Now we're at the easy part. We built the inside wall out of our two by 10s and two by eights, and now we're just using two inch thick R10 rated green foam board and we are attaching it in place. You can see that we've got six uh, screws with fender washers on each side. And these are just fender washers that are one and a half inch in diameter. And they've got a uh, three, sixteen, three sixteenths inch hole in them. So the screw goes through and gets caught. Um, get your screw started. Get it a little bit snug and voila. And we brought the green board up two inches higher than the wooden wall is all the way around. And this is what's gonna act to hold our lid in place once we have that made. Next step, 
Now that we've got our two inch thick insulated foam board attached all along the sides here with screws and washers, is um, we're gonna put a band of weather stripping on top of this lip here. And this is nice and even and level all the way around. So our lid's gonna sit flush. But I wanna show you real quick, um, if you can, I don't know if you can see that or not. There was a gap all along the edge here and we sealed this with foam. So any way around the bottom of your house fan that could be connected to the rest of the attic, you wanna seal with a bead of foam. And we did that from the other side here on the outer part of it, but you can't see that. Now we use weather stripping, looks like this, camper seal. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. We like it because it's very wide. It's about an inch wide. So what I'm gonna do, get it going on here. You're gonna to wanna to have a box cutter or some kind of blade with a nice sharp blade on it. Sharper than this one apparently, but that'll work. Get it to lie flat, pull your tape off, go around all the other Three remaining sides, get it snug, and then we'll show you here in just a minute what our lid looks like. We just finished building the enclosure around our whole house fan. This is what the finished product looks like. We've got our attached foam board sides here, the wood inside, the weather stripping on the top of the wood, and this is what our hatch looks like. We've got two pieces of two, uh, two by threes that I'm holding on to. Those are the handles, and this piece here in the middle is a piece of two by 10 that we're gonna use as a weight. That's all been attached on the underside using fender washers and three inch screws. So this is gonna fit down into here like that, nice and firm. And uh, if you wanna kinda see what the weather stripping looks like on the inside again, that's nice and tight. You can see the fan in there. And once we put the lid on, that closes that nice and tight. So the homeowner, when he wants to uh, use the fan in a couple of weeks out of the year when it works out good, all he's got to do is come up, take the lid off, place it off to the side. We've built a storage pad up here for him, as well as a raised catwalk. And, you know, in the colder months or in the middle of the summer when it's hot and humid, he can put this back on. If we were to infrared this from the underside on a hot day when this is in place, the ceiling is going to be the same temperature as the, uh, the fan shroud below, the, the metal pieces. So there's not going to be heat coming down from the attic. And in the winter time, when you're trying to warm this house, this is gonna be air sealed. So you're not going to have warm, moist air coming up into the attic from this thing, which is gonna cause comfort problems and uh, efficiency problems, as well as potential mold problems. So the whole house fan insulated enclosure that we built at Inselwise, this is how it works. This is what it looks like. It's a, it's a very good solution. And if you found this video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button.